Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It is um, early on December 31st, um, 2013, a little after 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, more than likely, this will probably be the um, my final video for the year 2013. Had a lot of good times this year on this channel. Um, I think I... I think this year I uploaded more videos than I ever have before, so um, I, I was busy this year on YouTube. Um, and of course, I think the best moment of all here on this channel this year was being reunited with my childhood Packard Bell, the Legend 822 CDT, and I'm still very thankful that I have it, and yes, it is still running just fine. But what you are looking at right here is a little subject I thought would make a good final 2013 video. It's my um, Asus Transformer book um, T100 that I got for Christmas last week. Now um, I'm going to show you something that um, I was able to accomplish tonight. I was I was thinking, you know, this runs on a standard Intel x86 architecture which is unusual for most tablets these days so I got to thinking I can do whatever the heck I want with this thing <laughs> and so um, I was able to install a copy of Oracle's VirtualBox um, I wanted to install um, Virtual PC 2007 um, because despite popular belief it can be run on Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 or whatever but you need to install a patch and I did install the patch but it still just does not work right on here works for some but not for me but I I guess with it being a tablet it just can't take it but VirtualBox works just fine though as we will see um, right now there we go I have a virtualized um, Windows 95 Packard Bell installed on here and I did this for a very very good reason so we will um, go ahead and start the virtual machine alright starting Windows 95 I was wanting to do this video in tablet mode to make it a little bit more cool, but it's, um, this tablet just will not stand up by itself, so, um, I'm having to prop it up on the keyboard, keyboard attachment, but the touch screen still works just fine with the keyboard attached, so no big deal. As we can see right here <laughs> this is just a standard um, vanilla Packard Bell Windows 95 install from a early Windows 95 master CD and um, I had a reason for doing this I have not tried this yet by myself I figured I'll try this for the first time on camera, okay there's the cursor we'll go to the start menu, um, I was wanting to do this in full screen mode but unfortunately I'm not able to so um, hopefully this will work well enough so we'll go into Packard Bell Navigator And believe it or not, that is just what we're going to do. Welcome to Navigator's living room. Look at this, folks. I am using Navigator with a touch screen. Yeah, a touch screen. Uh, let's just try Minesweeper. Go ahead and get blown up. or not. There we go. 
going to ski free. Not the best thing to be using in this type of situation, but you get the idea. But now, for the moment we've been waiting for, we're going to go into the tutorials. Okay, give it a little bit of time. I got an ISO image loaded for Navigator. Got it on my micro SD card, which came in the mail this morning. Okay, um, it's taking a while, but then again, we're not actually using a real Packard Bell, we're just virtualizing it, so it will be glitchy at times. <sighs> hmm. Okay, um, any day now. Nothing's gone cuckoo. Okay, this is um, a few minutes later. Um, for some reason, the virtual machine got locked up, so I had to restart the virtual machine. But we're now in the tutorial gallery, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a lesson on using the mouse, the infamous Packard Bell mouse lesson, by using a a 2013 era touch screen will this will, will this end mankind as we know it well there's only one way to find out might help if I did it right okay it's loading the tutorial here we go folks Again, keep in mind. And welcome to a brief lesson on using your mouse. Now, before we begin, remember you can always use your keys on your keyboard to move around. To return to where you were originally, just press the escape key. And to move ahead, press the enter key. If you need help at any time, just press the question. I've always wondered key. what this guy's name is. Now I'll introduce you to your mouse and answer some basic questions. Why should I use a mouse? How do I use it? And how do I use the mouse when I'm working with text? To begin with, your mouse is a tool to let your computer know what you want it to do. You use the mouse to point, click, and drag. Go ahead, try moving the mouse. Rest your palm on the round part of the mouse. Good golly, Miss Molly, look what I'm doing. Now you can see how the arrow on the screen mirrors the mouse movement. Now move the mouse so the pointer goes off the screen. Okay. Okay, I just... To get the pointer back, just move the mouse a bit until it appears on your screen again. Now let's practice pointing. Try to move the mouse so the arrow moves over the blue gear. Okay. Wow. Click on an object by pressing and quickly releasing the left mouse button while the pointer is over that object. Okay. Practice by clicking on the red gear. Can't believe I'm doing this, folks. Here we go. When you click on an object, it highlights to show you that it's selected. And it's ready for the next action you choose. Click on the red gear again to de-highlight or deselect it. Do I dare? Now use the mouse button to click on the forward button on the screen. Alright. There we go. Right on the green gear. This part always confuses me. It tells me to try it on the green gear, but it doesn't tell me what to do with the green gear. Do I take it on a date, um, take it to the movies, and make sure it has a good time? Um, I'm not seeing anything, so we'll just go to the next little step. It may take a little practice to get it just right. Oh. A little persistent here, are we? Whoa. 
I just double clicked. <laughs> the next thing you need to know is dragging with the mouse. I dragged a mouse once and I got arrested. You drag an object Apparently it's illegal. Holding down the left mouse button while you move the mouse. And keep in mind it's a little bit glitchy, a little bit slow since we're virtualizing it. that animation shouldn't take that long <laughs> on an actual Packard Bell that is and this is obviously not a real Packard Bell is it <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> look how slow this is go through each gear are we if this were a real Packard Bell or even a real computer we'd be done by now <laughs> in fact I'm getting the feeling right now that it already is 2014 okay I guess we gotta wait on the blue gear now any day now. Any day now. After all, it is almost 1.30 in the morning. I would like to be in bed right now. The, the things I do for YouTube. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Practice dragging the gears into place on the blueprint using the mouse. Touch screen, you mean? Okay, let's see if this. <sighs> let's see if we can do this. Yay! Yay! With text, you can use your mouse to tell the software where you want to work. Move the pointer so it's over the word better. Text on the screen. Okay, uh, the guess we're not going to do anything I. with the this shows you where you'll begin blue gear. You use your mouse to select a word to remove it. Just move the cursor over the word road and double click the left mouse button. And we'll add the word geek to the end of road and we'll have a pretty awesome YouTube channel. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a little awkward at times, but... Notice the word is highlighted. Now press the delete or backspace key to remove the word road. Okay, now I'm glad I do have the um, keyboard attached or else I wouldn't be able to do this. Or this. Okay, buddy, let's get this straight here. Delete. Okay, delete will work. You can also highlight a whole line or paragraph. Start at the beginning of what you want to highlight. Hold the left mouse button down while moving the mouse over the first line. Then use your mouse to move the cursor down one line at a time to cover the area you want to highlight. Try it on the sentence on screen. Normally, just like with words, if you press the enter or delete key, erase whatever is highlighted. Let's keep going through. Let's try changing the letters in a word using the mouse and keyboard. Position the cursor before the O in piston and click the left mouse button. Okay. Then press and release the backspace key three times to delete the letters T, S, and I. I'm surprised this is working as well as I thought it would. I didn't think it would do now this type e r and s to spell person e r s <laughs> this closing animation is a little glitchy now is it <laughs> Uh, 
But that's the power of virtualization, folks. And why it's always good to have a an actual computer that can do this stuff instead of just emulation. Thanks for learning how to use the mouse to point, click, you mean the touch screen. Drag and to edit text. These skills will come in handy whenever you use your computer. Now to go over any part of this tutorial and practice using your mouse, just click on a topic. Or you can click on the gallery wall button in the upper right area of the control panel to return to the gallery wall. Well, we actually did it, folks. We actually took a lesson on using the mouse with the touch screen on a modern-day tablet computer. So that, I say that was a success. A little bit glitchy, but that's what you have to expect with emulation, especially on a something like a tablet. So we'll go ahead and... Um, Shut the Windows 95 virtual machine down. Okay, and it always locks up when I um when I'm shutting down Windows 95, so I'm just gonna have to do a cold shutdown here. And that's it folks. We'll turn off the virtual um touchpad. So that was it, folks. Um, can't believe that we actually pulled that off. We just played, um, not played, but we actually just took the infamous Packer Bell mouse lesson using the touch screen. <laughs> That's right, folks. I am a rebel. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that, and seeing that this is probably my last video for 2013, um, I want to thank all of you for um, standing by me um, throughout every single video I've made this year. And um, 2013 was great, and let's look forward to an even better 2014. So with that said, um, this is Billy Core signing off and wishing you a Happy New Year.